Okay, in this video we're going to look at an application problem involving differential equations. So let's look at the problem. So we start with a tank that initially holds a thousand liters of water with 10 kilograms of dissolved salt. And then some more water is flowing in, a brine solution with a concentration of 0.3 kilograms per liter is flowing in at a rate of 4 liters per minute, mixing and draining out at the same rate. And so we have two goals. Our goal is to fun find a function that describes the amount of salt in the tank at uh, arbitrary time, and the other goal is to find the time when there are 12 kilograms of salt in the tank. So let's get started. So our setup will be as follows. So let's let y of t equal the mass of salt in the tank at time t in kilograms. Good. And then notice we already know one thing. We already know that at time zero, there are 10 kilograms of uh, salt in the tank, so we can write y of 0 equals 10. Good. Now we need to build a differential equation out of this function with this initial condition. So let's see. y prime, so that's going to represent the change in the mass of salt in the tank. So there are two things that are governing this change. There is the rate of salt entering the tank minus the rate of salt exiting the tank. So I'll write that uh, rate of salt out of the tank. Good. So now let's break down each of those. So this one will be given by the concentration that is flowing in the concentration of the salt coming in multiplied by the flow in. So let's write that. So this is the concentration in multiplied by the rate of flow in, like how fast the water is flowing in. And then finally, this is going to be something similar. So this will be the concentration out times the rate of flow out. Good. Now we can break down um, each of these one at a time. So I'll bring my y prime down. And notice that our concentration in is given by this 0.3 kilograms per liter. So here we have 0.3 kilograms per liter in. And then our rate of flow in is given by this 4 liters per minute. So we're going to multiply that by 4 liters per minute. Good. And then our concentration out is a little bit tricky. So let's talk through it. So the concentration out is going to be equal to the concentration of the salt in the tank. So the concentration of the tank. So this is equal to concentration of the tank itself. And then the concentration of the tank itself will be given by the total mass of salt in the tank divided by the volume of water in the tank. So we know the mass of the salt in the tank is given by y. That's a kind of our assumption. And then the volume of water in the tank is equal to 1,000 liters because notice the volume of the water in the tank is not changing. Four liters are going in and out. So here we can write this is y kilograms over 1,000 liters times 4 liters per minute. Good. So um, now let's see what we get. So now y prime is equal to 1.2 and then we have kilograms per minute. So that's uh, how fast the salt is coming into the tank. And then minus, we have 
for y over 1000, which is the same thing as y over 250, and again, kilograms per minute out. So there's our differential equation, and then let's recall that we have this initial condition, y of 0 equals 10 kilograms. Good. So now that we have a differential equation, we'll move on to solving this differential equation and then finding answers to these two questions. Okay, so previously we constructed the following differential equation which models the mass of the salt in this tank in this mixing problem. So let's see, we have y prime equals 1.2 minus y over 250. So I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to write this as um, dy by dt equals, and now we can factor out a, a 1 over 250, and then write this thing as 300 minus y. And then again, we have y of 0 equals 10. So that's our initial value problem. And then we can notice that this is a separable differential equation. In fact, it's an autonomous differential equation given that it only depends on the dependent variable. But we can use separation of variables to solve this. So this will give us dy over 300 minus y equals um, 1 over 250 dt. Great. So next thing that we would do is take the antiderivative of both sides with respect to um, the given variable. So really we're taking the antiderivative of both sides with respect to t and we're using some sort of substitution on the left. Um, but we can take this kind of simpler view that we just take the antiderivative over here with respect to y and then on the right hand side with respect to t. Good, so let's see what we get over here. Um, we have over on this side of the equation, it looks like something with a natural log. So that's what we will get, a natural log of 300 minus t, but, sorry, 300 minus y. But since we have a coefficient of minus 1 on the y, we need to include a negative sign in front of the natural log. Good. And notice I haven't written absolute values around the 300 minus y, and that's because in this setup, y will never be bigger than 300, as if it's bigger than 300, that means that we have gone higher than the concentration that's flowing into the tank, which is impossible. Good. And then on the right hand side we have, this is t over 250 plus a constant. Okay, good. So now we can solve for y, so that will give us the following. What I'll do first is to move this minus sign to the other side of the equation and I'll absorb it into the constant so that I don't need to worry about it. And that gives me 300 minus t equals uh, some constant times e to the minus t over 250. Where again, I've used uh, exponent rules to rewrite my constant. So this new constant is equal to the exponential of the old constant. Okay, and then I notice I made a mistake here. This um, should be 300 minus y. Okay, good. And then finally, this gives us y is equal to 300 minus c e to the minus t over 250. Good. Now we need to figure out what that c is. So now notice that y of 0 equals 10. And if we plug 0 into this equation, we get 300 minus c equals 10. So that means c equals 290. So that gives us a solution to this first problem over here. This is 300 minus 290 e to the minus t over 250. So there, we've gained a solution to this first uh, question. Now the next thing we need to know as an answer to the second question is uh, for what t is y of t equal to 12? And so for that, we can just very simply set this equation equal to 12 and solve it. And what you'll see is you get approximately t is 1.73 minutes. 
So pretty quickly you get to uh, 12 kilograms of salt into the tank. Okay, good. So this is the final answer for this problem.